For nearly a year now, the community here in Boulder has been mourning the loss of the 10 innocent lives that were claimed in this store behind me nearly a year ago. But now the community is reclaiming what is theirs. More than just a building, more than just a place of employment, but a place of gathering for the community. So this project has been a labor of love. This process, it's been hard and it's been a long road. It's been a journey and it's our healing journey. 11 months after 10 innocent Coloradans were gunned down inside the Table Mesa King Supers in Boulder. We acknowledge that reopening the store will also trigger emotions and they're different for everyone. This homecoming really signifies a momentous milestone in our healing journey for both our associates and our community. The gathering place is once again ready to welcome back the community it was built for. One thing that we heard from the beginning from our associates is they wanted their home back. They wanted the store to feel bright, they wanted it to feel open, and they wanted us to really captivate or capture the beautiful view of the flat irons out front. And that is exactly what they got. From the lifted ceilings to more skylights and brighter colors, King Supers completely renovated and redesigned the store from the inside out. For weeks, the store has been restocked perfectly, largely by staff who worked here the day of the tragedy. Having our associates back in the building is really uplifting, and it's just that step in moving towards healing and recovery. This reopening isn't possible without them which is why the Denver Broncos outfitted their break room in orange and blue. This store means so much to this community. A community that is no longer just Boulder Strong. It's stronger and the reopening of this store signifies that strength. In June, a memorial garden will be added here to the property. It'll feature 10 trees for 10 lives, as well as a memorial bench. Until then, a local artist has painted a mural, which is just inside the doors behind me. And while it is beautiful, we're told there is a secret message hidden within it a message which was only conveyed to the families of the victims. In Boulder, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.